Merry fucking Christmas. Happy fucking New Year. I'm back on YouTube today for my zero followers on YouTube. But I will not be stopped because I need to show the entirety of the house we are redoing. And I have a motherfucking tour for the books today of this room. Our sitting room, our Golden Girls orgy room, our vibe. And I hope y'all are buckled in your motherfucking seatbelts because this shit is going to slap. Okay? Full throttle. We're doing this right now. All right. We are going through our Golden Girls sitting room today. And I am so hyped. This room is so fucking hot. Let's just jump into this shit now, sweetie. We cannot wait. We will not wait. Okay. First, when you walk in, Art Deco floor clock. How the fuck are you doing? Okay. Mirror paneling up the entire thing. The back. Look at the back. It's a fucking party back there. This shit glows when the sun hits it. We love her. This was a state sale find. Just some candlesticks up there. So cute. Got her in dirty ass Long Island. Moving on up, curtains are from Opal House. You can buy that shit at Target um, for like 25 bucks each. Curtain rods, do not kill me, are from Amazon. A set of three was $75. I budget where the fuck I can. I'm a thrifty whore, we all know this. Mirror, I don't remember where I got this mirror. I want to say it was on Facebook. I want to say that, but do not quote me, honey. I cannot possibly remember every single place I get every single item because I'm a hoarder. I'm an addict. I'm sick, okay? Next, the fucking part one of the sectional of my fucking dreams, dude. Look at those chiclet teeth. Can we even? Um, let me show you this angle. She's a hottie. Holy fuck, postmodern, like, slay me right now. This bitch is a Vladimir Kagan, and um, it's by the brand Directional. Ugh, I just can't. I found this actually just yesterday, and we redid the entire room. Look at that watercolor fucking print uh, to die for. This gorgeous Jonathan Adler mirror I got off of Lacquer Factory on... Instagram, I love them. I love their company, their brand. Um, yeah, that's just a stunning piece and I had to have it. And they cut me a really good deal, so I just love them forever. I also got, <laughs> who the fuck are you? I got these baddies, I have two of them. Also from Lacquer Factory. They did me such a solid with these and I love them so much. Under it is just a little brass table. Like, look at the colors together. Okay, so quick edit. You know, we had to add this lamp before I even uploaded and edited the video. And it's a complete hottie. There I am. The reflection's horrible right now because of lighting, but this was a thrifted piece at The Thrift. Um, and I looked it up and it's worth a lot of fucking money. So that was also an epic find. I love her. She's very big, so she just sits on my radiator. Here's another curtain with another rod. The lighting is all sorts of wonky right now, sweetums. Um, here's my Monstera plant. It's like the only plant I have kept alive. I got her in Colorado when I lived there. Um, I think she's from 2018, so I kept her alive for a few years. She needs to be repotted, but She's Gorgina, if I do say so myself. Over here, we have a little Hager crane vase moment, which I love. Then moving back on up the wall, I have this torch lamp. Um, it did not come with this pink cone. We actually thrifted that pink cone from another lamp and slapped her on there. She has a Lucite base. She lets off really, really pretty lighting. I just really adore her. Um, and she looks perfect in this space. Coming over here, ignore that wonky ass nail on the wall. 
<laughs> we have a thrifted vase, actually two thrifted vases, pompous grass, which as you guys know, if you've seen my other videos, I'm just obsessed with pompous grass. My favorite author is Mosh Fag. So there she is front and center, honey boo boo. And two little uh, shoe sort of uh, tchotchkes. One of them is a candle and it's of an Air Max Nike, which is my favorite. And then a little ceramic um, roller skate or roller blade. Really wanted to move all of my favorite books into this room and these are them. So just, I think that's a really nice way to display my books and some conversation points and starters. And then I have these little opal house. These are not vintage um, bookends, which I love. That is my adored pearl neon sign. Love her. This little pony a customer got for me. I love you, Nicolette and the fam. Thrifted, thrifted. My editor is also sourced from Facebook, so she just looks really pretty in here with the brass detailing. Moving on, my most prized and coveted possession is this David Marshall mirror. I mean, this thing is stunning. It has uh, the original tags on it. I feel so blessed to have found it during my travels uh, while sourcing for Vintage Show Pony, which is my Instagram business. I cannot get myself to sell her because she's just so stunning. And we painted these stripes to basically incorporate her for her moment. She needs to shine. She is just my favorite thing that I have ever sourced. Um, honestly and truly, like, I just love it so fucking much. And then over here, we just have another lamp, another matching table, and the other part of the Kagan sectional. Can we even believe the shape of this bitch? Like, how dare she be so curvy? Quite honestly, it almost offends me. Um, but I want someone to paint me like a French girl on this fucking sofa. I love it. Obviously, together, they are too big for this room and for any room in my house. So I broke them up and they just look fucking so dope still. And I'm obsessed. And fun fact, I love globe lamps. So this was a housewarming gift from uh, my sister-in-law when we first moved in. And I just think it looks so cute in here. And then we have our coffee table, honey, that we got off of Facebook and then we painted it with lacquer paint. And it's stunning. I love it. Um, we have just some vintage Playboys on there. You know, doing the damn thing. Cute shit. The brass detailing in the actual coffee table is to die for. And I just love her. I just love the way the table looks with the sectional. Like, tell me that's not absolutely sickening. Tell me that does not make you ill because it makes me absolutely fucking ill. But yeah, so this is the room. It's not a big room, but it is probably our most expensive room, if that makes sense. Like, there's a lot of bougie things in here and I just like think it's absolutely perfect. Okay, so there you have it. I hope you don't have whiplash. This shit slaps, I told you it would. Tell me this is not the cutest fucking room. It's very Instagrammable to me. So follow me over there on Vintage Show Pony. You can buy some shit. We're a company, we're a shop. We wheel and deal. We chat with y'all. We're gaudy as fuck. So yeah, comment down below if anyone's watching this who feels at all inspired by this space because I just feel like this is somewhere I want to live and then die and then be reborn. So that's the vibe. RIP Betty White, you're a queen, you're an icon and yeah, fucking subscribe or some shit. Peace.